Okay, so I've had a request for a new episode, um, and as I'm waiting for things to arrive, I've been doing some spring cleaning, and I discovered, well, I knew this was here, but I'm throwing this out. This is a demijohn of mead that I made before I moved into this apartment. So five and a half years ago. It's been sitting on my uh, in my bedroom, airlocked, uh, for about five, probably the first year and a half. I kept the airlock good with water. You put water in, and that kind of keeps other things from getting in. Um, kind of then got a little bit lazy with that, and so yeah, this is probably something that shouldn't be consumed. Um, I haven't really thought through like it's pretty. This mead was pretty potent back in the day, so I haven't really thought through this. I was going to use this small glass, but it's so hard to pour. I'll use a bigger glass, more interesting. Right here we go. Just trying to angle this away from my laptop in case this all goes horribly, horribly wrong. So there's kind of a. That's good enough. Pours real good, as you can see. Got hold my hand. It smells kind of the way it did back in the day, like it's, you know, we never did an AVB test on this. Um, it probably looks a bit clearer. It smells maybe not as strong. It's kind of got a, kind of a, almost like a, like that brandy schnapps stuff I have. I'm really not sure I should do this. What's the worst that could happen? You know, <laughs> it never tasted great. It was always rocket fuel. But that's not half bad. Well, that's, sorry, it is bad, but it's not as bad as I thought it would be. It's got an aftertaste that is distinctively stale. Um, so yeah, comment below on what you think, uh, how bad you think the diary is gonna be. <laughs> 